Alrighty, everyone. It's Saturday. It's Cyber Saturday. Welcome. We're gonna sh we're going to 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 have all of the cyber staples of you know uh, high intense action, a lot of violence, and maybe some existential dread. I'm going to capture the child. I'm going to capture the child. Boy. So, on that note, welcome to the stream, everyone. I am your host, Isaac MC Canary. Got a boy, a noisy boy in my hands. We're going to play a couple of games today. I've been meaning to try this game out for a while. And it just kind of works out that since I did Helldivers so much on Wednesday that I would mix it up today. We're not only going to do this today, because it is just a demo, I don't know how much there is available, but I'm going to try to explore as much as I can, I expect about an hour, at most, and then we'll switch over to a game that I just really like. We'll switch over to uh, some kind of two. What? But as soon as the cat calms down. What? What? Cat television. I hope you guys enjoy the screams. They never end. So, here's what we're going to try. We're going to try this, uh, we're going to see everything that's available, and then we're also going to try it on the different levels of threat. I have not played- I only know about this game because I randomly saw it recommended to me out of nowhere. And I have no idea what this game is about. Okay, well that's- so we're just going to start with the basics. We got throwing knives. Well, it's hard not to turn down augmented fists, but we'll start with what they've got. And then we're gonna start with the assault rifle. Uh, and boy, that's a lot. Boy, that's a lot. So we're just gonna start at, at the top. We're gonna start at the top. They've got a lot. They've got a lot. Interesting. There is a lot of information to have to process. So, the thing that I know about this game is it is still very loud. I thought I turned it down. Come on. But the thing I know about this... Okay, I already like how this feels. I already like how this feels. Oh, that's interesting. Oh, that's not what I thought that was going to do. Oh boy, that's not what I thought that was going to do. So all I know about this game is that it's currently in a test format, but it's intended to be a, a multiplayer shooter. And part of me hopes that even with that in mind, that they keep the EVE available. That said, I don't know how things like slow time are going to work for PvP. It's a cool feature, but I don't... I, that slow time doesn't really work for PvP. The only thing that I've ever seen do slow time right is actually, uh... Is specifically... Ooh, boy. Yeah, that's fun. is specifically Warframe. Warframe is the only game... Holy shit. I don't know what just happened. Is the only game that I've seen do a slow-mo with other players around, and it's not really a slow-mo, it's more like a slow fall. So... Yeah, that's the only place that I've seen that work. I don't know if it'll have that. Oh, I got somebody with that. Got handgun, pistol... Hello, sir. What's really silly is you can get into some kind of... Well! Well! <laughs> I really like how it feels overall. It's very weird. It's very weird.
I like the aiming already. I really like the aiming. And I like the feel of the game so far. You can do some pretty silly things with the movement from what I saw. The first thing that came to my, uh, like, the first thing that uh, stuck out to me was how much mobility there is. It's really kind of neat, but I could, I'm immediately like, boy, I really want to, to see what this game will do, but also I already dread the sweat lords that are going to play this kind of fucking game in a game that I just want to be able to do. Oh my god, that's a lot. That's how that works. Woo! Woo! Stop it! Oh my god, there's more. Woo! Okay, yeah, this game's pretty fucking rad, I think. Door stuck! Door stuck! Damn. Alright, yeah, 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 I'm feeling this. I am feeling it. It's it's fun. It's a neat little game. Uh so let's go up. Let's see. Snare resistance, increased stamina reco stamina recovery, increased core regeneration, reduce slowing effects. From active core, reduce resistance. Well I still haven't tried out any of the thrown weapons, and I still don't know how to use them is the thing. Okay. okay. See? Yeah, that's a point. Okay, interesting. Interesting spot to have that. Um, nope, can't do that. Yeah, I, I randomly saw this game. Woo! Down! <laughs> I need to become the human ballistic missile. It's the best way to handle this. And clearly this is like very much a... a test. You, you can really... I can tell that this is a test, but I can see... where this could go. use it. Oh, I can't... Oh, they're an ability. That's interesting. Here, I thought it was, like, just a... a thing. Only put one mod on. Reflex sight... Huh. Ignores core slowing effects. Alright. How about punch? Okay. So shift is like a vault. That's not what I'm gonna do. Well, door stuck. Door stuck. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I dig this. I dig this. This is a weird game. I like how weird it is. Like, it certainly has a lot of like potential. I just, I like how much potential it has, but I think it also has. I have a feeling that it's the kind of game that when you actually play against other people, you're going to see a lot more of what I'm doing. 
Oh, fuck. And the fact that you can kind of s roll so much is fun, but I could see that being... I it A lot of this is really, really cool. I'm just, I just worried, man. If it's supposed to be a multiplayer shooter, how much of it is gonna be... There, there, there's so much. Oh. That that can interfere with. That said... I mean, it'll all come down to, to play testing when it actually comes to people, because I think this is... Really cool so far. Uh oh. I can. Oh, can't go through that. Holy shit! I don't know what killed me. Says I died to bleed though, but I was healing. Pellets when ADS or single gun akimbo. Huh. That is a, that is a sick shotgun design. Do like me a good shotgun. Okay, that thing shoots fast. to load every bullet individually actually that's a thing that i actually kind of wished was more of a thing in like so i'm wondering if the bolt action rifle is going to be similar then because i i think that there's a lot of ways that you can make it, it would take it took some getting used to but immediately i was like okay no no i like that because i don't know the the thing that makes using a shotgun fun for me is how snappy it can feel, and having to re uh, having the input to actually like load the rounds yourself is is pretty nice. I also think that this is gonna go two ways, right? Like you're gonna have people who are hyper sweaty. I think. And you're going to have, but you have, it looks like, you know, hopefully, things that will help mitigate that by, come on, bleeding. How do I stop the bleeding? How do you stop the bleeding is the real question. How does one stop the bleeding? How does one make the bleeding not, not go? We'll say the game definitely makes you feel. I love. This is a trend that I'm noticing more. That I hope is in more games. I love the floating. Um, the floating reticle. Okay. Well, I need to figure out how to use my core ability, and I need to figure out how to stop bleeding. How do you stop bleeding is the real question. Maybe you don't? You probably don't. I mean, the game is, is such a high... Such fast-paced that... Uh, a a fast-paced game where you will be dying a lot. Oh, that's fun. <laughs> Let me see. Oh, can't check. No way to check. Is there any way to st stim? Stim is four. Okay, so you can heal yourself. Probably need to have damage to be... Okay, that's what I had done. That probably helps stop bleeding and stuff. How do 
I have a notification for how many stims I have is the real question. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, oh no, uh oh. I think that the level design, without getting into it, I like how much, how dense it is in some ways. Uh, very corridory though, very corridory. But I'm that's that I mean comes from a whole lineage of movement shooters, right? Like. Ammo. Oh, that's nice. Tracks aimed targets allows T lock ammo to lock onto targets. What has T lock then? Is that what TD is? Sword. Oh, that's interesting. Okay. Now it says Marksman's Sight. Use chamber time. Ash CQB optics. Oh, that's probably the switch. See, increase radar detection range, increase scan detection radius, reduce scan. Scan cool. Okay, so there's a scan mechanic that I need to figure out. All right. There's F for hand fist. There's F for fist. Hold control is rough. I'm gonna have to put that to toggle. I live in the year 2024. Hold crouch is not well. Could be bad for this game though because of the slide mechanic. Hmm. Let's try some different stuff. We're gonna try out the sawed off, the bolt action. Let's see. Sable scan. Advanced recon. Increase radar detection range. And reduce movement sound. Reduce movement radar location. Increase speed. Can be disabled. A core bonus when under effects of enemy core. That would be nice. Proximity mine. Oh. Can only be detected conceals from all radar detection. So when it says radar, do I have like a little like a motion tracker or something or? Okay, I do. F for something. Oh, that's interesting. Ooh boy. That's a cool That's a cool effect, actually. Oh boy. Hello, bud. Hello, bud. Yeah, having that detect off is actually pretty rough. So what is the scan button? Scan is thumb button two. Thumb button, okay, was that, okay. 
We'll try that. And then activate core is left L. Oh, that's interesting. How dare you? I like this scan because here's the thing so much of this game could be about the sweat but anything that makes it harder to rat is going to be a plus in my opinion and so much of this game is going to be about positioning I think and like how you actually get the most out of your kid this is also just good aim training for me This, this game fucking rules, man. I like this. Let's try the target site again. This the okay, so the core does slow everything down, but it makes me wonder... Oh! That's it? Oh, well... That will be interesting then, because essentially that means that anyone who activates their core is going to hijack the game. And that could go... a couple ways. Oh shit. Invis is actually really hard to see. Need an animation for that. Uh, somebody just went invisible. You shit! Fuck. Yeah, that's pretty fun. Yeah, that's pretty fun. Gotta get the punchies, though. What? How does punchies make me slower? That doesn't make any sense to me. Okay, let's see. 100 to 200, 100 defense, increased defense regen... Or additional vitality from all sources on core activation. Okay. Interesting. Damage dealt by during maneuver or active core recovers vitals, increasing max vitals to full. Okay. Gain hover and air dash. <laughs> okay. <laughs> And we burn on air dash and hover activation, burn resistance. And optic fa camouflage, camouflage, untargeted by enemy devices or T lock, all at camel active. A knockdown immunity and reduced damage, AoE damage, damage, disable and snare on impact, explosive melee and throw in resistance. Crab ghost. Of course I'm gonna try out this. So I have active flamouflage. Oh! Oh! That's interesting! That's an interesting... That's an interesting way to handle uh, active camo. I, I kind of like that, actually. Uh, 
I also like the glitchiness that happens every now and then. I like that. Shit. Yeah, this game's cool. I, I do I, I do think that um I do want to play it multiplayer at some point. I think it'll be fun, but it will be really sweaty. I don't have to get used to that. But it's also just a it's just an arena shooter, so The mine from Goldeneye. That's fun. I want that must be an, either an homage or at least like just just fun. God damn. We'll say that this sniper rifle. The, the marksman rifle definitely feels good. And uh, like I said, this is actually pretty good aim training, though. This is a different kind of aim. I like floating aim systems. I'm glad they're becoming more of a thing. I think they feel good when they're handled right. I think they're more natural. Was there wall there? There's my mine. There might be wall banging. I need to test it. Ah! <laughs> well, who would have thought? Sword beats fist. The AI doesn't have any of the movement, so I'm like... I think this game will be way different when people can finally start getting into the, the kind of like the kind of, like, tech that you can get into with this game that I can see happening. Like, I think... I think the movement tech is gonna play a huge part in what will make the game interesting as well as make it pretty challenging. Which is where I'm at. Like, I want this game... I wouldn't want this game to go slower, but I also wouldn't want it to get frustrating. I, I, you don't really have control over it from what I can tell. Not traditional anyways. Whoa. That's fun. Okay. Wonder. I... Running time. Running time. Okay. And I think in a game like this, uh, a stun like that is going to be important, because you're just going to have people who are going to get really good at the movement, and you're going to have to have some way to combat that. 
I actually, whether it is like actually a glitch or not, I like how buggy the visuals get every now and then. I like that. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, uh, I definitely could see this being a really fun... I think the... Uh, a really fun arena shooter. Um, I definitely... I think mechanically they've got a lot going on. Definitely fine-tuned some of the, like, movement a little bit. It's a little sticky. It's surprisingly sticky. I was expecting it to actually be... Um, based on, like, what I saw, I didn't think it would be that sticky, but I do like what it does and what it provides. I like how you, you have, like, a chain mechanic for movement. Um, I like the scan. I like anything that, you know, it's, it's all about keeping things fast-paced and keeps you from, keeps, it, it prevents ratting. Definitely. I think anything that is anti-rat in any game is a good thing. Because I don't think there's anything wrong with camping, because... I don't think there's anything wrong with camping or holding an angle, from a tactical standpoint. Um, uh, but this helps give you a medium of, like, okay, I can hold an angle, but I can't just sit in one spot the whole game. I have to keep moving. bad, though. Pretty bad, though. Shit! Hey! I got the bleed off, though. Alright, let's try something else. Let's try out the revolver. And let's try out the SMG. Target, printer... I still haven't... So is TD ammo the tracking ammo? Let's try that. Red speed loader. Actually, I'll keep the regular loader. Can't get a second mod yet. Try out the sword, and we'll try out. That, uh. Gain, stun, snare, and disable immunity, increase movement, ground movement speed, and duration for 10 seconds. Both surfaces, stun, snares, and disables. Natural charge and bolster on use restore. Gain additional defense. Clears defense burn. Gain bleed and burn immunity and five second reduction. Stems, disables optic camouflage. Try out the laser wire, because that sounds silly and fun. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Ah! Match ended. Ah, I have to try next one. The match ended. Yeah, I'm, I'm enjoying this. Here's what we're going to do. Now we're going to bump it up to two and see how really silly... We're gonna bump it up to difficulty two and see how really silly it gets. Kinda sucks that I have to do this all again, but that's fine. Is TD ammo the target printer, though. I don't know. Unless it just means that us T lock ammo to lock onto targets. Yeah. 
Uh, ammo, augmented nano wire, increased nano wire range. Nano wire can steal disarm. What the hell is nano wire? God damn it. Gain access to additional ammo types. Okay, here we go. Okay, here we go. Additional delayed headshot damage. What? Why would you want that? How's this disable on hit? Well, that's mean. Incendiary ammo. Okay. Just device supply time and reduce stim supply time. Ooh, that's nice. D additional devices? What? Well, which is in this fucking game? Okay, there's a lot more in this game than I was expecting. Holy shit. Drone attached to surface. And relocator. Okay, so Sombra. We got Sombra now with the turret. Listen, that's, it, that's the only one that I've, I can think of. How do I use it? Okay, that's fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love the idea of smart weapons, and this is where people are probably gonna be like, ugh, ugh. Bad game has an auto lock system. Well, kind of need for it. I don't know how it works, though, is the problem. Oh shit. Oh shit. Interesting. So it locks when you get a... when you aim. Okay, okay, okay. I understand. I also kind of see the value of it without needing the ammo. I kind of see where you could get some value out of that. this weird pseudo P90 design. I hope they get a good animation for it. Bit, where am I? <laughs> so it has like an arming time. That's interesting. Which could be not working as intended. Because, um, like, if it's supposed to be like the shotgun where you could load one shot at a time, I think that's actually a really good thing. I think that'd be a really interesting way to balance whether or not you want to load everything or if you want to macro, micro your ammo. Still have to aim. Wait a second, is that the same shotgun? I pick it up. Wait, this is a different shotgun. No, it's not. Bit. 
I heard that. I was like, placing mine? That's not good for me. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. This game's pretty cool. I, I, I'm excited. I hope there's, I hope there's more coverage on it because it seems neat. It seems dope. Um, I like how modular it can be. I like how it is very much almost like it's very much uh, trying to be. Oh no. Sword boy, sword boy found me. Nothing, nothing. Well, I like that there isn't a sprint. The only way to move faster is the uh. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I can see how. I can see how what they're going for, I just don't know how that'll work with a group of people, because... Imagine, like, five people setting off their cores at the same time. It's like, it'll get really disorienting when you're just trying to shoot somebody and someone across the map sets off core. Like, yeah, I guess you gotta prepare for it, and it's not going to affect... I guess it's not gonna affect you and whoever you're shooting if they are not the one who's activating their core, but it could... Could prove to be pretty awkward. The core mechanic's also pretty interesting. I I like it. I think I like it. There's a lot of information to have to to take in with this game. But I, I like how it feels, and I like, I like the ways, what it's going for with its, with its, uh, level design so far. Shit. Shit! Yeah, two, they don't fuck around no more. Two, they don't fuck around no more. Let's try out a new ammo. Um, let's try the EM ammo. I feel like that's going to be the ammo that's going to be really frustrating when people are actually playing the game. I could see that being really aggravating to run into um, because it'll mean a lot of... Uh, Slow, 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 slow. I I know it would be necessary for this game given how quick it can be, but I always am like, disables are not fun to be on the receiving side of, but I think the high time to kill is going to really affect exactly how that um, shakes out anyways. in my shell. I must deus my ex, and I must... Uh, I don't know any other... Yeah, I can see that again. That will be frustrating. That will be annoying, but it also is like, I could see the opposite. It's gonna be really annoying with people who abuse that. Like, and a lot of this is going to be still, you know, this is just, this is a test against bots, and it is fun. And they might not even be thinking about how, you know, people are going to use it. 
Or maybe they are. That's the thing that's tough about designing a game, especially a game like this, which could have a really high, like, skill ceiling and everything, is, like, sometimes I think that designers forget or don't think to consider how players are going to be trying to take advantage or utilize um, elements of a game. I mean, I'm sure it's not easy, like, especially with a multiplayer game. Because a single player game... In a single player game, there's a certain amount of... Now my ass was fucking... So many of these invisible guys. Oh, he was using tea ammo. sword guys sneak up on you. I'm not expecting them every single time. I wonder... Oh, you can get T-Lock for this. I don't know if that'd be good. Let's try it. Fuck it. Science point two, maybe not great. Oh, okay. All right, I see, I see, I see. Uh, what the value is of TD ammo is then. Interesting. How's a snare on hit increases rear increases near range, reduces far range. Okay. Ooh, ooh, we're gonna take that off. Increase vitals. Oh, that's nice. Oh shit, I forgot to take that off. Yeah, I do like that scan mechanic, though. I don't know if I can shoot through the glass there. It might be bulletproof. Ah, fuck. I didn't quite get the bleed off. I saw it. I was like, oh shit. Oh, that's a waste. I forgot to take that off, too. Oh well. It's a shotgun. Well, that didn't work. Let's see, thrown, snare, disable, conceals allies from detection, proximity effect. I can't remember to use this turret. I can be a briefcase turret. God damn it. Ooh, that heavy ammo feels good though. Damn it. I was on fire! There's actually a lot. There's a fucking lot to get into this. I was not expecting this much. Even for, like, a simple demo, like... Ow. 
Ow. Ow. Bang. Okay, that's pretty fun. Ooh, I did not see that fire grenade. That was a good throw. I almost kind of like it better for the shotgun, because it has a faster aim down sight. Oh, the match is almost done. Still don't know how to read the radar on the top left. It doesn't seem to show anything for me, but... Okay. Probably do one more of these. One or two more of these. This is fun. This is a cool game. I like this. I like this quite a bit. Let's try this silly shit. Try the PDW. Bolt action again. Be silly. I don't I don't think that's gonna be worth it. Try the auto bolt. Actually, let's just try the CQ, CQB mount. God, there's just so many. Increase impacts damage roll. Redu per persists for short duration after roll. There's so much. There's so slow effects. Eh. Remove all fall damage after when landing on feet or roll. Recover vitals on kill proportional to the core charge. Increase speed proportional to core charge. Oh, that's nice. Look, I like either they even have mechanics that are gain access to dual weapon, dual wielding sidearms. Oh, but can't have a primary. Yeah, that's fucking cool. Maneuvers increase non ADSD accuracy during maneuvers. Laser wire and overcharge. Okay. Yeah, this game is fucking rad, man. I like it. Okay. Interesting. Oh, that's... What? Oh, you want to know? Now I go take punchies. Now I take my punchies. What the hell? What? Yeah, that's fucking fun. Hold on. Now I gotta... Oh man. Actually, the target printer would be really good for this. Interesting. You can also keep. How does he keep track of the ammo then? Use it while you're doing that. Ah. Oh my god, that was close. Ah, this fucking sword, guys. To be fair, I heard the footsteps, so it's like, there's somebody near me. The game is teaching me immediately that I'm going to hate invisible sword guys. I'm gonna hate the fucking weeaboos. Huh. 
What a weird... Where are the jets coming from? That's what I want to know. to be on the wall. Shit. Just walk around it. God, those fucking sword guys. I always hear them a little bit too late. I think I hit him once. Oh, the powers of RNG. Can I not? Okay, I can't. Oh, that's interesting. Hello. Upstairs. Dystopian future is this? This is a dead end. I do like this, uh... I do like this akimbo, though. It's quite fun. It's silly. I like how much... I like how much this game tries to toe the line between being, like... You know, you could be super... Tactics, you can be really... There, there's a lot of what it's going for, for as far as... Um, the pacing. Like, that... Wait, did I get him? I don't even know if I hit him. Let's try the speed loader then. See how that varies, cause it is weird. It's like not that it was like I had to reload one shot at a time, like I thought it was going to have to. I fucking missed it. Ah, fuck. 
those guys are very good shots. Because we run into the second issue with bots, is bots are going to be very good shots. But so will people. That's the thing, is like, people... This will get some real... This will get some real sweat lords out there, man. I, I can already see that. get some real this will get some real quick boys but I definitely think this is yeah this is really dope I'll have to keep an eye on it I definitely want to try the multiplayer to make an opinion about it I I think it is really difficult just in general to try to make a multiplayer game that feels fun for everyone cuz having a really high skill floor or skill ceiling doesn't mean that the skill floor is accessible, but I get definite. I definitely get the impression that an element of this game is trying to do that. Like, there's a lot of things that will hopefully either reduce or yeah. and I still got one. I think there's going to be a real sense that, uh, you know, if you're having an issue with one thing, you can at least augment to try to eliminate it or counter it or something, and it be, like, mechanical and not, er, and have it be, like, mechanical in a way that isn't just turn it off. That'll be nice. Starters, God, this jetpack is quite fun. Except now I'm door stuck. But now I'm door stuck. Uh, his friend killed him. He killed by his own friend. how to turn this off sometimes. I think I picked out how. I wasn't sure if that was a person. I will say this revolver fucking feels good though. somebody with my laser trap somehow. It's a fairly poorly thrown laser trap and I still got somebody with it. Well that's good. Hope they add some kind of UI to be able to tell if your laser trap is still on. I definitely like what this game is doing so far. Damn it. But I can see it being moments like that where if you really do have the uh the reflexes, you could you could do some silly shit in this game. This game seems pretty rad so far. Woo. 
that was a shotgun. I like saw it, I was like, oh god, that's a shotgun. <laughs> and I'll give him credit, the AI does not, the, the AI is competent in that it is insurgency AI. It will, it is, it is a good challenge, but it is not necessarily maneuver-wise. They aren't doing anything crazy maneuver-wise, but they are still getting you exposure to elements of the game. Ah, beans. Yeah, that T-ammo is rough. Give you a lot of tools to try to like be as responsive as possible, but the the actual rate and time to kill the game is so fast that I do kind of want to know what high level play will look like of this game because I think it will be it would be rear fucking wild man. I also be curious how teams will work, if there will be teams, or if it will be free-for-all, or what. But hey, I will just say, this is just a rad arena shooter, if nothing else. Like, this would be a really good arena- this will be a really good arena shooter. Well! A bad shot. I'm a bad shot. Yeah, this game's dope! I'm, I'm excited. I'll keep my ear to the ground. I'll see if I can pick up the multiplayer or if it'll be, you know, when when that will be. I'm going to keep an eye on it. Um, yeah, no, I'm rel I am uh, genuinely impressed. Like, it just feels like a good classic, like, arena shooter. And, you know, it's, it's great seeing this kind of thing still exist where people just want fun arena shooters. I feel like I haven't had one in a long time. I, the first arena shooter I really got into was Halo for the PC. That was the first arena shooter I ever played. And then, yeah, any anything, like, the more that I've, like, played Hunt and stuff, like, a lot of my decision-making has gotten more to try to, like, be in between that. And I can see some people being completely cracked. Like, this game will get people cracked, but it's fun. It would... It, 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 it's gonna be a fun arena shooter that you just get in and like shoot some stuff. I don't think there's gonna if there's like a progress, you know, uh, level in this game that's probably not planned yet. And if it's just like a, a like a classic arena game where you just get your stuff and get in there, I think that will be nice. I would even see like I could even see it having like a a Counter Strike system of like you know you accrue those CR points in your match and you get maybe like more unlockables that'll be nice that could get very snowbally though but i think by the nature of the game you know like i think the best way to handle that would be you get access to more stuff but it isn't necessarily better stuff so i think that'd be a good way to handle that if they want to do it match by match um but i don't know we'll see fun game i definitely want to see what out of action does i'm i'm curious so I think now, I was expecting about an hour, and I got a little bit more than an hour, actually. I was not expecting even that much. Um, so we'll go ahead and, and switch it. Uh, uh, so yeah, we'll, we'll switch to video games. So hang on, everybody. We're going to play a different game now that I definitely know I can play for the next three days if I wanted to, because it's a good-ass fucking video game. We're going to play one of my favorite uh, early access games that's still being worked on. I'm really excited. And there's more shit as of February 14th. And I definitely haven't played it since then. So, sweet. Neat and sweet. It'll start if it'll boot up. Played a ding dang video game. Medic? 
that it? Oh, there you are. There it goes. I'm going to check something before I change this, but I might actually keep this tag the same too. I'm a little floored. Goddamn that, you know. Oh, there's even more. I 